The clearer you are, the faster you manifest. So what I wanted to talk about today is how do you get clear? I want to give you seven ways to get clear. Because if you get clear of those counter intentions, for the most part, what you want to have, do, or be comes along very quickly. The clearer you are, the faster you manifest. What I want you to do for this first step, and this is worth writing down, is to playfully declare what you would have to experience. What would you like to have, do, or be? One way of doing this is to pretend if it fell out of, this is a wonderful sky here, if it fell out of the sky into your lap, what would you welcome into your life? If you can just open the present and there it is. And, that, and this could be anything. On one of my blog posts, I had written about a fellow who started using the phrase, wouldn't it be cool if, fill in the blank. Wouldn't it be cool if you attracted the car you're looking for? Wouldn't it be cool if you got the ideal job? Wouldn't it be cool if you healed the health concern that you had? Wouldn't it be cool if you attracted uh, unexpected income of a particular amount? Wouldn't it be cool if you opened the business you've always wanted? But notice, for the most part, what I'm hearing, there's a sense of detachment and there's a sense of playfulness here. What most people do wrong when they say, state an intention is that they're desperate for the intention. What does it mean if you're desperate for the intention? You're, to be desperate. you're going to continue to be desperate, but why? You fear it won't happen. You're fearing it won't happen. If you're desperate for something, unconsciously you're stating, I don't believe this is going to happen. If this doesn't happen, my whole world's got to fall apart. This stuff probably doesn't even work. Law of attraction probably doesn't even real. Joe Vitale is probably full of it. You know? But what you want to have when you state your intention is a clarity of purpose that has a sense of fun to it. Wouldn't it be cool if is a wonderful question to start using for your intentions. By saying the phrase, would it be cool, you take off a lot of the desperation and the urgency that people put on. I tell people that you can virtually have anything you want as long as you don't need it. As soon as you say you need it or you must have it, you've added an energy to your intention that's got to push it away. Because your unconscious mind, the universe, God, whatever you want to respond to or say this higher power is, is going to respond to your unconscious feelings. And if you're saying, wow, wouldn't it be cool if, but it's not going to happen to me, it's got to respond to the it's not going to happen to me energy. So the first way to get clear is to be focused on what you want very clearly, but without an attachment to it. Wouldn't it be cool if, and I mean, have fun with this. Wouldn't it be cool if, notice I'm smiling as I'm thinking about this, because there's a playful childlike quality to this. You look at catalogs and go, wouldn't it be cool if I had that? Wouldn't it be cool if I met this particular person? The trick is, is you write all these things down, like wouldn't it be cool if, and you fill in the blank in a, in a notebook or whatever, and you more or less forget about it. You've planted an order, you've planted a signal, you've planted a request with the universe. When you go back and check your book and your listing later, you'll find out more often than not, it's like, oh, that did happen, but I forgot all about it. That came true, but I wasn't even thinking about it. The universe, in many ways, realigns itself and repositions everybody as if we're chess pieces to make our dreams come true. But you have to go and state what those are. So the very first thing that we want to talk about is that clarity of intent. Wouldn't it be cool if? So that's the first way to get clear, because the clearer you are, the faster you get to manifest. Anybody want to guess what the second way is?